Hey, good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Bernie, brought to you by Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Today I'd like to talk about the two most important people in Rams Park, and in this case it's not Jeff Fisher or the general manager Les Snead. Number one on my list is quarterback Sam Bradford. I strongly believe Bradford has played better than what he's generally been given credit for, especially when you factor in the mediocre supporting cast, the injuries, the coaching changes, all the turmoil. And in Miami view, Bradford had an underrated season in 2012, throwing more touchdown passes than Matthew Stafford, Jay Cutler, or Cam Newton, and only one fewer touchdown pass than Joe Flacco, who went on to win the Super Bowl. Bradford led the Rams to three game-winning touchdowns and four comebacks in the fourth quarter last year, and that's one of the reasons why they improved to seven wins. He was really good in the red zone down the stretch with 10 touchdown passes and one interception over the final nine games. He definitely has improved, but because he was the number one overall draft pick in 2010, Sam was supposed to dramatically elevate this franchise, and people are still waiting. Well, the Rams have finally gotten him some help over the last couple drafts, choosing four wide receivers, including the new sensation, Tavon Austin. The Rams also spent a fortune on free agent tight end Jared Cook, who can really stretch the field, and they spent a lot of money on offensive left tackle Jake Long to improve the protection. So as he heads into his fourth season, Bradford will be surrounded by the most talent that he's ever had with him in the huddle in the NFL. He'll also be working for the same offensive coordinator for two years in a row for the first time as a pro. Indeed, it's time for Sam Bradford's career to take off in a big way because the fortune of the franchise may depend on it. Now, before we get to that second name on the list, I'd like to remind you about the great deal at Papa John's Pizza. The Cardinals won last night on Wednesday, and of course that means today you're going to win by receiving 40% off regular menu items at Papa John's. All you have to do is order those regular menu price items at PapaJohns.com, and Papa John's will donate 10% of your order sale price to the Siteman Cancer Center. That's a great deal for everyone. All right, now back to the Rams and my second name on the VIP list. That would be offensive coordinator Brian Schottenheimer entering his second year in St. Louis. The Rams offense showed modest improvement under Schotty last year, but they still finished way down the list, 27th in the NFL in touchdowns from scrimmage. The big problem was, of course, a lack of speed and explosive playmaking ability, but the Rams have been upgrading the speed, the roster, the big play capability. The pieces are in place now to spread the field go up tempo and exploit mismatches. At Oklahoma, Bradford played in a spread formation and he was great at it. He, he likes to go at a fast pace. But does Schottenheimer really have it in him to run the kind of wide open offense that best fits Bradford in this cast? That's a big question. I do know this much, there's a lot of pressure on Bradford and Schottenheimer in 2013. Hey, that'll do it for Breakfast with Bernie. Thanks again to Papa John's Pizza and we'll see you back here tomorrow on stltoday.com.